February 15th. Let's catch up, everybody, on what's going on. So, since the uh, last hydroponic update, I have been doing a few more things. And one of those is the uh, lettuce that you see beside me. Uh, this is the uh, Vivian Romaine lettuce, and it's under 40 watts of lights. And the uh, LED hood seems to be great for this uh, particular lettuce. It is a large variety of romaine. I'm also going to be testing against another variety of romaine lettuce that's called Jericho. Uh, Jericho might be a little larger, and I'd like to find out which one would be better for indoor growing. So as I find out, I'll let you know. Notice of the uh, three plants that I've got going in here. Uh, the two outer ones are growing normal, and the one in the middle seems to be a little flatter and growing out a little wider. Uh, I found that with air gardens that the optimal spot for growing a single plant is in the center. And it does seem to get a little bit more PPFD, and that is going to be the sweet spot. And it's interesting how lettuce responds to it. The three red heirloom microdorf tomatoes from Air Garden are doing quite well right now. And I was curious about the new pruning. And now I'm finding out that I'm getting quite a bit of ripe tomatoes. You could possibly see a few of those. But most of the uh, tomatoes are buried within the uh, foliage of the uh, plants. And I've been uh, eating a few ripe tomatoes, and I still have several more that I need to pick, and I do have more blossoms. So I do like this pruning method. It is a lot more tidy than just letting the plants go uh, unchecked. And one of the things that I might consider in the future is growing a variety of tomato that puts more ripe tomatoes on the outside of the plant so they're easy to recognize and pick before I end up uh, losing some because some of these tomatoes are so deep in the foliage that it's hard to find them at times. The Numex Easter pepper plants, which are ornamental but also edible, are doing quite well. I am finding out that the peppers are coming on in many colors. I've got some ivory, some purple, some orange, and as they go along, they'll actually get red as well. So it's kind of a colorful plant, and I am finding out why they may have called it New Mexico Easter, because it's like uh, Easter eggs, and there are many colors. Uh, the plant uh, seems to be doing uh, quite well. Three of those in this small uh, tree can garden. It's only um, seven sites, and just around uh, 20 plus watts, doing quite well for me. The Vivian Romaine lettuce that I placed into the 50-watt Aero Garden Elite have been growing substantially well, and it looked like I was getting about 33% uh, more lettuce bulk than what I was getting in the 40-watt uh, arrow garden. I've picked a little bit, and I've actually had the lettuce growing faster than I could harvest it. One of the things that I've noticed is that the uh, leaves are getting a little bit of tip burn, and the answer to that might be one that lettuce will probably grow a lot better in a typical 40 watt garden than the 50 watt garden. But if I were to place a fan and also uh, raise the lights a little bit more, I would expect to avoid the uh, tip burn on those. But the uh, 50 watt Aero Garden Elite might be better suited for fruiting plants such as tomatoes, eggplants, peppers, and other things such as that. The cucumber plants that you see here are the result of cleaning up my cucumber grow. I took uh, two clones from the seeded plant, and uh, these are the uh, clone plants. And so I've already picked a uh, large cucumber off these uh, short vines. I find that when I clone, they come off in a uh, single vine, and they tend to produce a lot more cucumbers on short vines. And the garden itself, I am getting ready to do a few changes. I'm about ready to pump out the nutrients from the garden, reset it, and I would like to put a plant dolly underneath to move it around. I've done that with the other Black Magic Ropel that I'm using for uh, cauliflower. This is the uh, second Black Magic Ropel that I'm using, and I already have that filled up with a nutrient and full load of about uh, six plus gallons. And the cauliflower seems to be doing 
exceptionally well in this container. It's spread out uh, massively and it's going under a 100 watt Vivosun VS1000. Uh, and I really enjoy the uh, coloration of this light on the plant. It is uh, pleasing to the eye. And as a matter of fact, I would uh, probably enjoy having more of these lights run my gardens. But, you know, this uh, cauliflower plant uh, should produce a nice head. The variety is Snowball, and I am very much looking forward to seeing the results of it. This is the other cauliflower plant, and it's smaller, but it's in a 40-watt arrow garden. I am currently at 123 days, and a lot of your cauliflower plants can go from seed to a full head of cauliflower in about 130 days. And I currently have about a golf ball size uh, flower head in the middle of that plant. And if that's all I'm gonna get, I probably will abandon uh, trying to use uh, ear gardens for an exceptionally large plant such as cauliflower. Aero garden sprouts uh, that I have, Two of those I've already scrubbed and currently I am soaking those in 100% white vinegar trying to get some mineral deposits off. The Genovese basil is continuing to grow in the uh, far one and so that is going to be a transitional uh, project for me. But the results of all this has been that I've uh, jotted down some more notes but I am looking forward to doing the revamp on my gardens trying to uh, let everyone know what I'm going to be doing more towards the end of February, hopefully. I appreciate everybody who's been supporting my channel, and thank you so much for your help. Uh, be sure to click like and subscribe if you don't mind, because it helps support my channel. And thanks uh, for watching, and if you have any questions or if you have anything else that you would like to mention, be sure to comment, because I'd be glad to help everyone.